Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the ANET ET4. I showed you how to build it. I showed you how to print the first cube. Now, my friends, we're going to print a part that keeps this cable from running into the Y-axis. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, so we are printing this part because of what I'm showing you right here in this video. The bed cable has a tendency to lay over and come close to hooking on the y-axis. So I designed a part in Tinkercad that you can download on Thingiverse, and this test is really quickly going to see if we can use the filament that comes with it to print this part that's going to make that less likely to happen. This is the part in Tinkercad. I've just made a version 3 so this will be the first time I print it. I'm gonna open it so you can see it super quick. Tinkercad is amazing. It works in a browser. You can see what I've done is sliced this off so it'll print the base and it'll print up there without any supports. This is a lock in case you want to put a cable wrap on it and then I've got this about the right size so it fits that cable perfect. That's why I've upgraded to version 3 and we'll test it after it's done printing to see if it's really worth it. Uh, just so you can see this real quickly, I'm going to hit ungroup and you can see all it is is a cone where I did not put the point on it and a couple tubes where I subtract parts so that the other things come out the way that I want. And then when you group it, you've instantly got a solid part. I need to export this one right now. I had made it but not exported it. I always put mine in a Dropbox so that way if I make them here at home, they show up at school. V3, boom, hit save. Let's go to Kira. Once again, I'm hitting open file. In Kira, I've got the cable fix. I am making sure I've got the ET4 set because I do have more than one printer. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees because I enjoy watching it from that angle better. I've got the printer right here beside me turned on, plugged in. It is ready for print USB. So my friends, let's get cracking. Alrighty friends, we have a little bit of a spoiler alert right here. Uh, my computer fell asleep while I was off working out and I did not get to capture the footage of it finishing. Uh, after it paused, the two parts did not fuse together and let me show you what I did so that those get fixed and the part is useful as well. Uh, bad news, when I walked away, my computer fell asleep. That's why it paused in the middle and I was able to resume, but it wasn't strong. So I was able to touch that with a soldering iron just to get a solid part. I feel it's definitely sturdy enough for what we need to use it for. And let me show you how it attaches. All right, so on the back, this is where it can snag. And then all I've done is made it so that we can slide this cable in. It fits in the little gap. And then you can push this into the hole until you find the snug spot that you want to use. Notice it holds it nice and straight so you will not have that issue with it flopping over and landing on the y-axis anymore. Alrighty friends, so lots of good news. Uh, we were able to pause the print accidentally and it still worked. There's filament left so you can print something else. So even if you just have the filament that came with it, you should be good to go. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mind Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.